Today, and for the next seven days, join me as we challenge the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I've heard lots of good things about this. I am looking forward to trialing it. Hello lovely people, welcome to my YouTube channel, Hey Spring Chicken. My name is Cordelia and if you're a returning viewer, I am so pleased you're back. And if you're new here, welcome. Today's topic is one of my favorite types of challenges. It's over a period of seven days. And the topic today is looking at the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Now Neutrogena needs no introduction. It's popular with both men and women and features not just skincare, but also hand care. So it is a very popular product. Recently, I noticed the Dr. Lees were giving it a review and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to as well. Their review was good. Let's see if it meets my expectations. Before I talk about the Neutrogena, I want to add that I am currently very happy with my skincare regime. And the night cream that I currently use is the Nambuzin Ceramide and number two. And I really like the Ceramide cream and I really like peptides. So I have got very high expectations of the Neutrogena cream. So let me tell you about Neutrogena and its claims on why we're doing it over seven days. So its claims, I've got my glasses on, improves resistance to dehydration for rested and revitalized skin. Self-smoothing memory gel. I am not sure what a memory gel is, but it sounds impressive. It has hyaluronic acid and has an ingredient that I'm struggling to pronounce, botanical trehalose. That could be wrong. So hyaluronic acid, I really like. Things on its own, it doesn't seem to do much for my skin, but when it's with other live ingredients, I like it. Now, Hydro Boost is the, the new breed of moisturizers, which is like a gel-like consistency. Now this makes for very easy application and usually sits very well on the skin. So first of all, this has already got some extraordinarily good reviews, but my skin is very dehydrated, my skin is difficult, and I am not looking for this to replace the ceramide, but I do need at least to be equable, or as good as. So opening the product, I already like it. I already like the feel of it on the back of my hand, but now we're going to look at how it sits on my skin. So join me in 10 hours time. And just like that, here am I without any makeup, ready for the first application of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. But before I do that, what I want to do is show you what I put on my skin before I put on my final moisturizer. Already on my skin is the essence, the vegan kombucha tea essence. This is almost like a little, as I call it, a caffeine hit for the skin. And it just sets the stage really. As you can see, this is all I've got on my skin and it looks quite shiny, quite beautiful. No, not my skin, I'm not beautiful, but my skin is really good with the tea essence on. And it just sets it ready for the next products, which is, I'm going to add the TW Isentry, which is a fermenting product. Fermenting products on dry skin are really good. They hydrate the skin and just give it all that extra moisture, which we lose as we age. This was my first product from South Korea. And I started using this back in February last year. And with all of these products, I put them on quite quickly. So this gives an extra hit and an extra, as I said, hydration to the skin. On my eyes, it took forever to find the right eye cream. And the one that I'm using is the Beauty of Joseon Retinol Eye Cream. I really like small percentage of live ingredients. And they have to be small because my eyes are so sensitive. So this is a retinol and ginseng eye cream. I'll add another serum, which is the Numbuzin number three. Okay, so you're thinking a lot of ingredients. I do use a lot of fermenting and live ingredients on my skin. 
and I add them all quite quickly. I'm not waiting for them to dry into my skin. So this is Trini London's Retinol. So this is another live product. This is Retinol and Vitamin F. So this is leading up to having lots of live ingredients on the skin on why I don't need a moisturizer that is either really expensive, high-end, or has a live ingredient. What I'm looking for my moisturizer to do is to keep all of these lovely ingredients on my skin. So this is like a blanket that I'm going to put on the top. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost, this was $11.99 and the product itself doesn't come in flash packaging and nor should it. I'm not looking for an Estee Lauder or a Longcom. I'm looking for a good hydrating moisturizer that's going to keep this little lot all on my skin. It's a gel-like consistency. I do have a little scoop because I don't like putting my sticky fingers in there. It's got a lemony, zesty smell to it. Let's see how it feels. So I'm quite generous with the amount that I put on. So there you go. Quite a thick ingredient. So look, you can see it's sitting on the back of my hand and it's not dripping off. And I'm just gonna lather it on. Okay, this is quite a thick cream and feels really lovely on my skin. It feels like the, the jelly cream that I had from K-Beauty about three months ago, which I liked, but it dried quite heavy on my skin. So it'll be interesting to see how this one will fare. So we'll take some before pictures now. We'll also have a look tomorrow morning, see how my skin feels, because what I like about my ceramide cream is in the morning, my skin still feels nice and nourished. So I'm hoping for the same effect. I like the ingredients that I currently use, but I wanted to try this because there are quite a few positive reviews about the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, and I like Neutrogena products. I shall see you in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It's seven. It's on my skin. It feels really good, actually. I'm happy with it. It still feels quite good. It still feels moisturized, that's the thing. Just in a minute, I'm gonna wash everything off, but I wanted to just catch up with you and let you know how it was feeling. So no dry spots, still looking quite moisturized. So far, so good. I'll come back to you in seven days. It has been a funny week. I must admit, I felt a bit flat this week, and I don't know if it's to do with the weather, hormones, whatever. And the way to cheer myself up is with makeup. So I treated myself to three butter gloss lipsticks, and they're lovely. They just sort of cheer me up. So let's recap. Seven days ago, we looked at Hydro Boost Water Gel Night Cream. So Hydro Boost said it's designed to provide intense hydration to your skin. Hyaluronic acid and the glycerine really help to do just that overnight. So, that's what it says it's going to do. How did I get on? It's worth noting at this point that it has the ingredient hyaluronic acid. And hyaluronic acid, if used as a standalone product, will actually dry out the skin. And the reason it dries out the skin is it's trapping all the moisture. It apparently is 10 layers deep. So if you put a standalone hyaluronic acid onto your face, your skin may feel drier. Many of you guys out there say hyaluronic acid doesn't work. And that's because it's never intended as a standalone. And by that, I mean you partner it with another ingredient. And in my case, the moisture goes on after I have had my peptides, the ginseng, the essence, all of that is on before. I then put the moisturizer on and that is like a blanket and keeps that moisture locked in. Often hyaluronic acid is partnered with retinol. I find, and a lot of you out there also find, that these two, although they're a marriage made in heaven, the skin may not react well with them. But for me, hyaluronic acid, peptide, ginseng, niacinamide, these work beautifully together. So what did I expect? 
I expected that it would provide very similar, if not the same, moisture as my ceramide cream. Yeah. So I have worked really hard to get my skin looking the way it does and I didn't want anything to upset it. But what I did want to do is look at something as an alternative to ceramide cream, as an alternative to a Korean beauty product. My moisturizers at night are the Numbuzin Ceramide and the Beauty of Joseon Dynasty Cream. These are the two that I will use. Both are Korean products and what I wanted from my Neutrogena was a way of providing the same sort of comfort blanket for my skin. So did it do it? Did it provide that comfort blanket? Did it perform as well as the Ceramide? or the Beauty of Joseon, or the Trini. Seven days ago, when I unboxed this, we looked at the claims that Neutrogena made and hydration was the very least of them. I have used this every single night for seven nights. And it looks like I've hardly used any, and I'm very, very generous with the cream. I managed to purchase for $11.99 from Amazon. It was on special offer, and it was also on special offer in Boots the Chemist and looked fantastic. It's a new product, so they're out there pushing it. I will add the links below if I can find a really good deal for it, but I can honestly tell you, this has been really, really good for my skin. I am very chuffed with how my skin's reacted. Would you buy it again? Actually, I would. I would buy it again. It's difficult because I do like the ceramide cream and the effect that that gives. So I don't know from the longevity standpoint whether this is going to give the benefit that ceramide cream does. But based on what I know now on over seven days, I will almost certainly buy it again. Would I recommend? I would. I think this is a really good product. I recommend, but I don't recommend it as a standalone product. It is a product to be used with your serums, your essences, and on top of those live ingredients. And when you do that, you will be very, very pleased. That's my honest opinion that this is a really good product product. It's well thought out, it sits well on the skin, it doesn't aggravate the skin, it does all of the things that it said it intended to do and there's very little more you can ask of your moisture cream. I loved it. If you like this video, and I hope you did, press the like button and leave me a comment. I just want to add about the leaving comments. Last week we uploaded a video and the comments were disabled. I didn't disable and I'm hoping that this week the glitch in YouTube will have been resolved. But if the comments have been disabled, I promise you I haven't done it. And if the comments are open, leave your comments. I love reading them. I like and try and respond to every single one. And while you're at it, ding that bell. By dinging that bell, it will alert you to content that we're uploading like this every single week. And subscribe. By subscribing, it lets the algorithm know that you like this content and it helps our channel grow. And in the meantime, if you've made it this far, if you're with me a week later, I want to thank you. And enjoy the rest of your day, morning, evening, week, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you soon. Thank you. Vitamin F. Yes, vitamin F. What's the problem, editor? It's vitamin F. You I'm just made that up. There's no such thing as vitamin F. So That's I bought some. <laughs> well, can't you read it? Not oh, without my glasses on. Oh, I can't even read it with mine on. It's been a bloody awful week. No, don't swear. There's okay. no need for it. <laughs> you sure? I don't want to be obnoxious. You've been obnoxious now. So.